What's up, YouTube? Uh, Andrew here. I'm, I got my new camera. Decided to do a little video. Uh, March EDC. Got a couple items in the battle box last month that were nice for EDs to hold. Uh, theme was around EDC. So uh, I put a couple of things in my EDC and uh, decided to do a little video update from last month. Also wanted to give my new camera a try. Uh, I've got the Canon 80D with the video package, 18-135 lens, and a Rode microphone. Uh, I'm filming outside versus my normal desk. Ho and hopefully I can talk louder because when I make my videos they're at night and kids are sleeping. And I'm going to see how the background noise comes out. But um, first things first, uh, in Florida, always need to have a hat. So if I'm going anywhere, pretty much always have a hat on. Another thing, always need to have sunglasses because uh, it is really bright here. Uh, <clears throat> as in the other video, I've got a Canon, or Canon Casio ProTrek Pathfinder watch. Uh, this is. PRW 5000Y. It's a, it's a really good watch. Uh, the band is breaking. You need to get a new one. Um, but this has been on me for about six years. Wedding ring, titanium. And then uh, I've got my Samsung S7 Edge. Uh, I've had a lot of Samsungs, have a lot of cell phones for a long time. This cell phone sucks. Um, it's so glitchy, it's unbelievable, and I really don't feel like doing a factory reset on it. So I'm really looking forward to when the Note 8 comes out. Probably going to get rid of this and get a new phone. But one thing I got was a pop socket. Uh, I saw this on a different YouTuber's website, or YouTube page, uh, Talent Sai. Uh, he's got these pop sockets. What they do is it's a sticker that sticks on the back of your phone, goes in between, so you don't have to have that awkward... Uh, pinky underneath um, so when you're laying in bed um, or doing whatever you know it, it fits in there pretty easily and a little less strain but this phone's big um, it's a it's tough but it, it makes it easier to hold so and then uh, it can also you can also uh, prop it up and then you have a little viewing screen so uh, that's something new. That was ten bucks at Ron John, but uh, you can get them on Amazon for ten bucks. Also, all sorts of designs. I, w I wanted to go with a black one because I've got a black otter box. So that's that. And then something that came in the battle box was Olight M1X Striker. It's a tactical flashlight. It's uh, 800 lumens, I believe. It's got the tactical bevel. It, this thing is bright. It is really nice. It, it really lights up at night. You can see for anything that has a reflective surface, you can see it from you know half mile, quarter, uh, quarter mile away. So that's really nice. Uh, it is big though for EDC. So uh, I am going to look to get a smaller flashlight, comparable lumen, and put this one in a backpack because it's just it's this is big in the pocket but it's really nice and I like having a flashlight on me so this is the Olight M1X next thing is BattleBox tactical pen um, pretty nice having a pen on me I actually use this to uh, hammer some wheels into my son's Pinewood Derby car it's just a simple screw off um, screw on. The pen right's nice. Um, it's solid aluminum, I believe, and it has the um, carbide tip to uh, crack a window, or if you need to use this as self defense, this would puncture somebody. Um, the pocket clip is a bit tight, and I probably could loosen it with a T drive, but I'm going to look at different different pens, maybe something smaller, um, but having a pen on me that writes nice is, is a nice addition. 
I got the key bar. Um, this has been really nice. This has eliminated all that pocket key rattle that I was having before. Um, I do like this a lot. The, the magnet that I got, the magnet's a little annoying because the key rings that came with it, they're a little big. And what happens is when it's in my pocket, it'll, it'll go in like that. And then it's tough to get the key back on without having to take this all in the pocket. So I might get new smaller key rings so that it can't close upon itself. But having the, being able to just take the key out and put it in or go to the mailbox not having to shut it off, it's nice. I still want to probably decrease the key to make it a little smaller. The, um, the Griffin pocket tool and the uh, stowaway, they're, they're nice, but they stick out a little bit. Keys, the keys sit nice and flush inside, but the, the pocket tool and the belt cutter, they kind of stick out a little bit. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm going to try and make it a little narrower, get one of those keys out of there. And um, make it a little, a little thinner. So as a result of this being in my right front pocket, um, I moved my knife to the back. And we got a nice... Bastion pocket knife in the battle box last month, but it's heavy. And I went back, I carry it for a couple days, and then I went back to the CRKT home front because this knife is just, it's, it's just such a nice knife. The pocket clip is great. Um, I am looking at getting the tactical version of that, which is all black. It's got a Tonto serrated blade. Um, so I'm probably going to get that soon. But this home front by Ken Onion, by CRKT, it's, it's a really nice knife and it's found a permanent spot in my pocket. And then last would be my wallet, which is just a Columbia RFID wallet. But I don't have a lot of stuff in here and it's just, it's really thick. So I saw... Ben from Living Survival, he got the Ridge wallet, I believe, and I think I'm going to pick that up because I've got a lot of stuff in here that I don't really need, and it's really just a lot of material folded upon itself, and it's getting kind of annoying. So uh, I'm probably going to upgrade that. So hopefully in April's EDC video, I'll have a couple upgraded items, new wallet, new knife, and maybe a new flashlight. Um, We've got a trip to Colorado coming up, so I'm looking forward to getting some more videos of some of the hiking out there. Uh, if it's warm enough and some of the snow's melted, looking forward to going to parks and climbing some peaks. And we'll. That's the problem with doing a video outside. You just have to deal with some of the distractions. But anyway, if you like it, subscribe, leave a comment below, and uh, I'll talk to you later.